everybody, today I'm going to be talking about how to get retro video game footage onto a VHS tape. Now if you're new here, continue to sub and ring the bell. So I've seen a couple tutorials on how to do VHS to digital, and I've also seen a few, not as many, of uh, digital to VHS, but I haven't seen anyone talk about putting video game footage onto a VHS tape. So yes, yeah, it's sorry. So I have my Super Nintendo right here, and it has Super Mario World on it, I'm going to be using that for this video. Uh, so what you'll need is, uh, you'll need a either VHS camera or a VCR. Now, probably most people will opt for this VCR, and that's probably a better way to do it. But the thing is, is that currently my VCR is only recording in black and white, and it kind of sucks as doing that. But luckily, it's basically just the same process as doing it on a VCR, but just I have a VHS camera that also records. And then you're going to need some sort of something uh, that actually connects to composite uh, input. So luckily the Super Nintendo I have connected to a composite input. And then I recommend getting a CRT, like these old school big box TVs. I recommend getting a little bit of a smaller one so it's a little bit easier to move. But I know some people like the bigger screens. I recommend getting a CRT because it just looks better with the natural aspect ratio of these old consoles. So the first thing you need to do is uh, actually turn on the TV and I actually have it connected to RF because uh, I have it converting from composite to RF because this only takes RF. But uh, yeah, so you have that and then turn on your v VHS camera or VCR. And also if you have a VCR, uh, you would con not with my case, but if you connect uh, you connect your VCR out to a TV, so that's how you get it in. But uh, yeah, so you turn that on, and then uh, you turn your uh, system on or whatever. I'm just using a uh, Super Nintendo. So you can use whatever system you want uh, with a composite input, and it just looks so much better on an old school display. And then you get your, I would, just, I would do this on a blank VHS tape, because it's so much easier to just figure out where you're going. And then if I can open this, uh, and I would recommend labeling what uh, like game is what with your VHS tape. Uh, and then there's a blank VHS tape. And then this might be a little weird, but uh, well, with my case, uh, it's recording in the same uh, input. So if you just connect, or if you put your VHS tape in to your VCR or VHS camera, rewind it, which it already is because it's brand new. But uh, if you press record uh, with with the VHS camera, you have to hold record and the play button. But over here, you can just record it. But So if you press both of them, I think I got it. Yep. And it's going to start recording the... Uh, video game. So if I just do a little bit of gameplay footage here, it's not that great, but I'm only doing with this with one hand. So it looks a lot better in real life than it does on camera, but sorry about that. So I'm just going to be doing a little bit of a demo. Okay. So if I, oh, there it is. I can do that. Sorry. It looks really bad. My, I'm literally doing it with one hand. But yeah, so if you, I'm just testing the game. You can actually record, it depends on how much long you want video game footage for. I recommend to get a pr pretty good amount of VHS tape on how many hours. I actually got six hours on that. Okay, so when you press stop, rewind it just in case to show you the beginning of it. If I turn this off and then, so if you eject it, so this tape, this is proof that's coming from this tape because the system is off. So when you put your tape in and then you press play, it'll start playing the footage that I did or I recorded. So if you press play, look at that. That's the footage that I recorded. This is not the Super Nintendo. The Super Nintendo is off right now. Yeah, so it records all the audio and all that. But yeah, so that's my footage I just recorded onto a VHS tape. This is not running from the Super Nintendo. Yeah, so I just recommend a CRT because it just looks so much better than putting it on a widescreen and having it stretched out. 
So yeah, so that's how you record a V or a retro video game onto a VHS tape. So thank you guys so much for watching, and videos will be back soon. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.